I'm very happy to have the performance of Shadows for Piano and Orchestra by the Boston Pro Art Chamber Orchestra. Um, I, first of all, love the idea of musician-run institutions. And secondly, um, uh, even though this is a very virtuosic piano piece, um, I love to have the orchestra meaningfully interact with, with the soloist. So there'll be people popping up for short interactive solos with, with the uh, piano. And that, that to me is a wonderful part of the musical world where the performers are also listeners and they know when they're in the lead and when they're uh, accompanying, when they're partnering, whatever. Um, the title comes from the fact that we talked about um, the history of this nation of immigrants that we live in. Um, where people have come here for um, many different reasons, for making a better life for themselves, for escaping persecution. Uh, some people were bought, bought and brought here as slaves. Um, and every group of people that has come here from uh, not only Europe, but, but Latin America and Africa and Asia, um, brings with them the sort of the sense of certain traditions and cultural um, things. Um, I didn't try to specifically reference particular things, but you probably, as a listener, you'll probably hear some things that would ring a bell with you, with, maybe with your traditions. Um, the one thing I sort of couldn't help doing was that this piece was premiered by the New Orleans Philharmonic not too long after Katrina. And you might sort of get the sense in the second movement, there's a, there's a little bit of a feel of a New Orleans jazz funeral to it. Um, but I, I don't like to tell people, you know, what they say, what to listen for. Just open your ears and your, your hearts and you hear what you hear. Um, I would say that the, the piece ends in... <clears throat> what I think of as the triumph of the human spirit. Um, we can go through natural disasters like Katrina, <clears throat> human disasters, the, the Holocaust, the whatever, um, <clears throat> and still we can come out with joy. And um, so the piece ends, I would say, in, in a kind of triumphant, um, happy, um, mood, you might say, and, and I hope that you enjoy it. I wish I could be there with you. I surely wish I could hear this performance with your fine conductor, Kevin Rhodes, Jeffrey Beagle, and his son, Evan, who's a young man, but quite a fine percussionist, and um, he will be playing in this performance. And as, as I said, I wish I could be there.